Hello boys and girls, this is Primordia Endgame and I am trying to figure out how not to die and how not to fail my course. <clears throat> so right now we're at the uh, Metropole Big Tower facing Metro Mind and her lovely Enforcer. And uh, we have some so options have here. We can ask to leave, which she won't let us. We can refuse uh, joining her, in which case uh, we will have to fight Scraper and probably lose. Anyway, not we won't uh, survive to the point of uh, telling on, uh, going on with the story. Uh, if I join her, we will merge, and she can. Uh, I need to think about it. Take what time you need. And she can go on with her evil plan, and uh, going on uh, enforcing her uh, dominance over everybody. And, uh, and hiding behind the rhetoric of greater good, which I think in this case means uh, equally shitty for everyone, since the town is in pretty much in ruins. Uh, there is another option to bypass, uh, bypass the questions altogether. Go up here. Jump off the ledge. That will uh, that will uh, deprive her of uh, Horatio's uh, CPU, but we still fail our cause. So okay, here up here is also one monitor and a radio. And what I'm trying to figure out is. Are there ways to, uh, or what what might be the ways to MacGyver my way out of here? Now the obvious uh, choices are not the viable ones. I can't just snatch the power cord. Also, I can't just attack Scraper. She's dead. can't uh, fiddle with the radio up there because then Scraper will stop me, but I have a whole bunch of stuff with me. If only I could figure out what to do with all this. I've got Crispin's personality here. Let's try if I can install it. I doubt that will have any effect. Feudal. I have got Clarity's head, the data unit, Crispin, the monocle, the gospel key card, break out of the law, some oil, uh, the note um, to stop Oswald from drinking, a crowbar, a record, a plasma torch, a transmitter, and the lantern. And my data, except my data has been reset. And uh, the it's a dead monitor. Objects I can interact with. There are some monitors here. A Metromind herself. A generator which runs on my power core. The elevator is shut. Clarity is dead apparently. Although I, I'm hoping that I might be able to do something with her head. I don't think I can interact with these cables and of course there's the radio upstairs. So 
basically I have a lot of options, I just don't know them yet. It doesn't look any different. It doesn't look any different. It doesn't look any different. The problem is that most of this uh, stuff doesn't seem to doesn't seem to fit together. At least, uh, not in obvious ways. If his memory is intact, I'm not going to go prying. Oh. Okay. What about this? The file header indicates that this is. Data ripped from Horatio Nobelt, version oh. 5, but the information is all encrypted, and Metromind wasn't able to crack it. It's useless unless I can decrypt the data. Oh, okay. At least that's something. What can I use to decrypt? There's nothing there to receive the signal. I don't know if I, <coughs> if I can use uh, this... no. I'm suspecting that I, I won't be able to use it until... Futile. Until I figure out a way to get out of this situation. It doesn't look any different. Okay. It doesn't look any different. 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 Okay. Now I tried, I think, once the trick. There's the nothing there to gamma. receive the signal. There's nothing there to receive the signal. There's nothing there to receive the signal. There's nothing there to receive the signal. Okay, now I've tried them all, I think. No point. It's just a monitor. For now, she is not hiding in monitors like Gamma did. So, if I go, Scraper will follow. But, I guess there's nothing to do about that. Radio. A radio receiver that rebroadcasts through this huge antenna. Yes, it is the voice of Metropole. Oh, new information. So, I'm guessing that probably the, uh, the way to go is to somehow uh, tweak the broadcast. How would that even work? Yep. I doubt that will have any effect. At least not directly. Okay, the little elevator is stuck in here. Uh, there aren't any more stuff that I can interact with. Oh, oiling her didn't I do doubt that will have any effect. Yeah, That would be sacrilege. <laughs> oh, come on, don't you hide some extra stuff in the book? It doesn't look any different. What else do I have? Okay, so this is my data, Christmas data, and Clarity's data, I hope. I have a lantern. Totally unilluminating. Totally unilluminating. Well, let's go back downstairs. Totally unilluminating. Totally unilluminating. So my immediate guess is that uh, we should be somehow able to influence the generator and then somehow influence the radio but I can't uh, directly damage them that's never going to work okay reader oh it's 
let's go back to the radio. That's never going to work. Okay. Feudal. Okay. Hmm. As usual, I'm guessing that the actual solution will be something very intuitive and very simple. Feudal. Of uh, course, the simplicity or the, the elegance becomes evident when you realize the purpose of each piece you're trying to wrap together. Until you do that, the solution escapes. I can't use the transmitter to send a message. And I can't figure out why. I mean, is it the... Uh, is it because it physically can't, or is it because it's incomplete? Let's see, can I... Feudal. I doubt that will have any effect. Okay. I doubt that will have any effect. That's never going to work. That's never going to work. It's a vinyl record entitled Children's Sing-Along, <laughs> whatever that means. reliable electric lantern that I cobbled together years ago. A pretty basic radio transmitter. By playing with the settings, I can send up to a four-digit signal. For cutting and welding, it can't be beat. It's a vinyl record entitled Children's Sing-Along, whatever that means. A heavy iron crowbar. It's the note from the bartender asking me to stop Oswald from drinking. It's a can of lubricating oil. The law in you. <laughs> it's an encoded key card. Encoded, huh? I don't, I don't want to read now. It seems like it might be used for decoding visual data. It doesn't look any different. Right, I already tried that. It looks like Crispin's personality matrix survived the explosion. It's a storage chip with a data port on it, full of some encrypted memory Metromind downloaded from me. It's Clarity's head. And this I already tried. And at this point, I can't uh, figure out if I should take something apart or put something together. There's no reason to cut that. Okay. There's no... How would that even work? <laughs> uh, like this. Torching crowbar. Awesome. It doesn't look any different. Try something unacceptable. Scraper cries halt. Be careful, Horatio. Scraper will not hesitate to terminate you. Yep. Be careful, Horatio. Scraper. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got that. I just wanted to try again. that even work? I don't know. I'm just sort of experimenting. How would that even work? I doubt that will have any effect. <laughs> and I doubt Kristen would be grateful. 
so I couldn't ping him. That's never going to work. Okay. And this won't die around. That's so never going yeah. to work. Directly. Why? Did you mess it with, with his circuits? There's nothing there to receive the signal. There's nothing there to receive the signal. But can't I like uh, shine the light on the power core and totally unilluminating. Okay, I can't damage the power core. It doesn't look any different. Okay. Can I somehow do something else with it? How would that even work? Like put it on and and stuff. That's never going to work. I doubt that will have any effect. Oh, okay. Let's check the radio again. Plunder. How would that even work? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a human. sorts of uh, situation solvings like this. It's the stuff that uh, drives me crazy is that I never know uh, whether I'm missing some parts or whether I just don't know how the existing parts fit together. Uh, sorry? That's never going to work. Okay, uh, plus I think I tried that already. Mm. Totally unilluminating. Totally unilluminating. The only thing that uh, I can think of that could uh, access the radio unaltered is the signal transmitter, and that ain't working, at least not on its own. That's never going to work. Okay, okay. The only thing that I can think of that would uh, directly and immediately work on the generator are the plasma torch and crowbar, at which point uh, the scraper will kill me. Also, I can't. If I try to use either of these directly against the scraper, he will also kill me. A chain reaction and destroy this whole tower. I know. <laughs> it will be utterly vaporized. Metropole will lose all its power. You would destroy this city, the last city. That would be far worse than what I have done. It would be vengeance. <laughs> it would be madness. Listen to me. Take your power core and go. Oh. I will not stop you. My core logic, I will place a rule against using force on you. Only, do not destroy my city. Do not destroy my people. They have not wronged you. Hmm. Somehow, I think she might be lying to us. Can I save here? No. Okay, but now I know uh, the way to affect her. Let's see. 
think she's lying. She may let me try this option first. No, you must be destroyed. And like you said, you are Metropole, and Metropole is you. Uh oh. deserve to be destroyed, Metro Mind. But in the end, you'll do it yourself. Just stay away from the dunes, and you can die at your own pace. Goodbye, Horatio. I do not think we will meet again. But what about all the other robots? It's over. I won. I have my power core. And Metro Mind is beaten. But I'm not staying to celebrate. I'm through with this city. Through searching it. Through fixing it. Through hating it. I will not look back. Can we go back to the ship? I told Crispin the distance between Metropole and the Unique was too far to walk. in my hand, and home is ahead of me. Home, and the promise of rebuilding. This ship has rusted here too long, waiting to be restored. The truth is that repairing it was never impossible. It was just too much for one set of hands. But now, I am not alone. Home sweet home. I have my old comrade, now in arms. My new friend, freed from the crushing weight of Metropole. And all those who have come looking for a new start. Oh. You know, boss, I never thought I'd say it, but... I actually think this ship's gonna fly again. For once, Crispin, I think you're right. He is. The Unique will rise on more than the strength of its power core. This is a little bit too beautiful. I think Horatio might be hallucinating. So, Maybe. uh, boss, where exactly are we gonna fly this thing? <laughs> Wherever we want, Crispin. Wherever we want. Let's read the credit. 
Thank you for making this. Bye-bye, and see you in some other universe.